Greetings folks, I have just finally got around to standardising my iNav setups uh, and I, I've, I've been using iNav for on and off for the last five months or so uh, so I thought it'd be worth sharing with you. Uh, so I have two setups, I have the uh, Air 3 uh, Parasirius iNav board on the Ranger 1600 with no on-screen display, this one is just for sort of pleasant cruising around with a good view. Uh, I don't need the on-screen on display with this one because I've got Tyrannus telemetry via a current sensor. And on the BIX3 I have uh, an Omnibus F4 V2 board, I think it is. It's the first one that Matt Ogborn demonstrated anyway. Uh, this one has the on-screen display. This one is uh, for cruising around when I want to know the distance and the altitude and the speed and things like that. So I would think this one is more for pushing the limits of FPV, I guess, and the Ranger 1600 is more for a, a guided aerial photography sort of cruise, I suppose. Now the most important feature of iNav, I think, is the return to home feature and return to home on a fail-safe situation. So if you are run out of range with your radio, your plane will automatically come back home. Uh, another good feature is uh, altitude hold so that you can cruise along while you're adjusting your goggles and the plane will just keep cruising along at a constant altitude and loiter mode or position hold along with altitude hold uh, where the plane will just circle around at a fixed altitude at the spot when you turn it on. So they're all GPS modes, they're the most useful settings for me. Launch assist mode, well it's a novelty but I just don't know it, need it, I think it's easier to launch the plane without launch assist mode so I just don't bother with the launch assist anymore and the air mode is on by default when you haven't selected any other modes. That just takes out some of the external influ influences and the manual mode or the pass-through mode is another essential. So I'll show you how, how I set that up on my Tyrannus and on the computer. Here's my Ranger 1600. I have a little micro eagle camera on there with a 200 milliwatt transmitter just on the FPV pod and I have a LC filter there that just runs from the uh, 4S balance port. Air 3 is mounted up in there. On both setups I have the board and the servos powered by an external BEC. Uh, don't use the onboard ESC BEC at all. And the modes I have are arm mode on a switch Throttle active. and on the A switch up here I have altitude hold. that's the altitude hold mode. Loiter mode. Loiter mode is altitude hold plus uh, position hold. On this switch over here, I have manual mode, manual mode or pass-through mode, so I can take total control and return to launch, return to launch on this uh, bottom setting there. And then I have a fail-safe test as well, fail on. just on the switch up the top here. So now I'll connect it up. And we're connected. Let's go to the modes tab, which is this one here. Okay, so we have the air mode always active. We don't want it ever to disarm when we're gliding. Uh, on the A switch, channel five, we have the arm switch. Throttle active. On this uh, SA switch, we have altitude hold. Altitude hold, nav alt hold. And in the down position, we have loiter mode which is which adds position hold so it's holding the altitude and it's holding the position too so it'll loiter around the spot where I turn the switch on. Channel 7 is on this switch here so we have manual mode which is down here. Pass through mode in case you need to take control totally of the plane and return to launch on the down position of that switch. And finally we have the fail save test which is this switch up here uh, fail-safe on. Just to test that the fail-safe is still working. I don't like these angle and horizon modes at all. Uh, I never, I was never able to get the plane flying level in that mode. Why not just let the GPS take care of it and you don't need to level out your board perfectly or anything like that. So that works well for me. What I can do is launch, altitude put it into altitude hold. Once I get up to a certain level, I'll put it into a loiter mode so I can adjust my glasses, make sure my FPV is working okay. Go for a fly, altitude trek off in one direction holding the altitude once I work out where I'm going, 
revert to manual mode if I need to, and bring it home again without having to do anything else. And if it goes out of range, the failsafe is going to take care of it. That's the way I like my iNav setup. Thanks for watching.